the custom tables in the ECC system and actually we can do data extraction from them using uh, the WP generate extractors so the first step is to create a table in the SE11 T code this is my RC system I will go to SE11 T code and I create a table so, give a table name and give a description And select delivery class as A and check display maintenance allowed then save your table in a package in a tier now go to fields and give, start giving the fields like salesman ID it will ask for a data element you can give already existing data element which you have created or you can create new ones so I have already created my data element or so I will give or I will demonstrate how to do so by creating one so this is a new data element check given so it will say that it is not active so you can double click on this and create the data element give a description and select predefined type select as car and give a length then maintain some field labels then we can check this and activate it so now my objects are activated So this data element is activated now. Similarly, we can give other fields like salesman name. I'll use the already existing data elements which I created some time back. So this will come automatically like I have 15 which we defined in the data element. Similarly, salesman age. Salesman address make sure that the, your user defined data element start with Z or Y otherwise it will ask for an access key Salesman phone number Once I have all these fields, I have to define a key field. So I will select salesman ID as a key field. And also, key field cannot be empty, so I will select this checkbox. And also, if any other fields you want to make them uh, uh, mandatory, you can select that blank value is not allowed, like salesman name and phone. So, initial value is not allowed for these. And then you can check your table, save and check. So, it is giving some warnings. So we have to maintain some technical settings here. Select data classes first one, master data tables. Select the size category, which is 0, 0 to 6000 records and save this setting. Then go to extras and select enhancement category. Continue and select the second one, can be enhanced, character type and array, copy. And then again, save your table and check it so now no warnings are displayed so now we can go ahead and activate so now my table is activated so i can uh, create the table entries now so right now it does not have any entries we can go to utilities in SE11 itself and select table contents and then create entries.
can create multiple entries. Now, when we go back, we can see these entries. The table has four entries. So this is all about creating a, a basic table in SAP with predefined types. Thanks for watching.